Hi everybody, my name is Sarah, Weight Watcher, Cape Cod Woman, and Pearls of Wisdom and Food on Facebook, and this is a Sunday bonus. And why is there a Sunday bonus? Well, one is because I chose this particular topic, and two, because of one of um, my special foodie favorites who private messages me, um, sent me a long message. And so, the topic today on a Sunday, a special Sunday, in December, when we're tempted always to Sunday, <laughs> and I wasn't even planning that one, the topic today is stop killing tomorrow. And I love that. And what does that mean to you? To me, it means overeating today, making poor decisions, um, going with the best of intentions, and then just getting a case of the you-know-whats, <clears throat> and diving in and eating what we're not supposed to, what is a self-sabotaging um, thing. And, you know, I've read enough posts where people say, don't worry about it, dust yourself off, yesterday is gone, there's only today, all those sort of things, except the emotional hangover of killing tomorrow by doing something with your food today. You know, um, I didn't read all of this message, but I got the gist of it so I could begin to do this video because, you know, I've got my work week and i gotta, I got to do stuff. But anyway, um, so you have everything planned. You know exactly what you're going to do. I've done there. I've, I've done this. I've been there. I, I know. <laughs> and something changes up. I mean, really, you had the best of best of intentions. And there's some screw-up in life because... It's life on life's terms, whether you know it or not, <laughs> whether you think you have control or not. And wham, you know, something happens. And the control that you thought you had over the food. This is the difference between eating too much and being a food addict. When you're faced with doing something and you make the poor decision, the wrong decision, the killing tomorrow decision, and you can't stop. That's the difference. Somebody that just eats too much might make a mistake, might eat too much, but they don't have all the stuff hanging over their head the next day. They don't have the emotional hangover that a foodie has because it's a hangover. And if you're an addict with food, you're going to have it, not to mention what you've done to your insides. So we want to prevent that. And um, if you haven't prevented it, and today you have a food hangover, today would be a perfect day for a food hangover. It's Sunday. It's December 6th. There could have been a holiday something-something. In this particular friend tribe member's case, yes, it was a, a, a company planned event. So there you are. And what are you going to do about it? Well, I think that the person messaged me was the, was a very important thing. If you're not a friend of mine on Facebook, you can become a friend of mine on Facebook. It's under Sarah Sally Parker. I don't know if there's 19 names, because I've had 19 names. Um, and then you can private message me. You know, I'm I'm available for that. This is This is my passion. This is what I love to do. So you're not alone out there. So the important thing is, um, there's a thing that I call bookending. I'm, I didn't invent it. Um, and what that means is you tell somebody exactly what you're going to do or have or eat um, before this event or say to your mother or say to your boyfriend how the breakup goes or whatever. <clears throat> you do what it is that you're going to do and you immediately call, text, message that person after the event to begin to process. Um, even if you get no answer <laughs> right away, um, at least your head begins the process, and I think that's so important with the emotional part of the food, right? And so um, this person with the best intentions um, did, you know, it's, she didn't, of course, bookend me because she had it all planned. And um, basically, I'll tell you what happened was there was a change up in the venue for the um, spot. And so um, I didn't read past that because I immediately turned on the <laughs> video cam. And so what do we do? Yes, eventually you would get to the dust yourself off. It's another day. But we don't want to kill tomorrow. 
like today, Sunday, I don't want to kill tomorrow by making poor choices today. So what can I do? What is the best bulletproofing, armoring myself for the day that I can do? Well, one thing is, is I'm having my bulletproof coffee. So I know it's four o'clock now. So I know that from, I have not eaten. I was done eating last night at five. So I've already got 11 hours into a, an intermittent fast, as they call it. When I will be eating again, it will be 9 a.m. So from, so it's going to be a 16-hour um, fast, but I've got the fats in my body from my Bulletproof coffee. I have made my breakfast for work. It is a half a cup of yogurt, full fat, plain Greek yogurt. It is a tablespoon of coconut oil mixed with a tablespoon of ground flaxseed. That's the basis of the, of the little cup. Then comes the full, excuse me, full fat yogurt. And on top of that, I have one tablespoon of cashew butter that I bought at Whole Foods oh, on Friday. And um, that will be my breakfast. My lunch is three ounces of the wild-caught salmon with um, the, the end part of a butternut squash that I have baked with cinnamon sprinkled on it. And then at 3 o'clock, I will have a salad with two tablespoons of ivu. And then I'm going to come home to, um, I am making a, um, an acorn squash, organic pork, broccoli, pepper, you know, stuffing it with that, with some maple syrup for some wet. Um, and then um, I will have a side of veggies, probably some steamed organic green beans. And um, Greg will have his brown rice. So I have planned, and this is what you do after you've you've had a day um, where you are emotionally you you are emotionally hungover about the food choices, the food things that happened, and you bulletproof yourself for the day. If you have your tracker, you put it on the tracker, but it takes more than just tracking. That's kind of just action with your finger, right? You need to do action in your kitchen. You need to put your things in little jars, little bags, little whatevers for the day. That is it. And if you need to leave them in a place that you can see them, that is it. If you have fruit, you need to wash whatever pieces of fruit you're having and put them aside. Um, I, sometimes I put them on a towel. I'm having my bowl of berries today too. I forgot to say that after I have my salmon and my squash. You need to do this for yourself. Will it be hard? Yes. Will you have that loathing? Yes. It is a consequence of what happened the day before. Expect it. It's a learning, it's a learning curve and learning tool because you want to feel every feeling about feeling garbage about the garbage that you had. So you won't kill another tomorrow without a whole lot of effort, right? Especially this time of year. So don't beat yourself up, but expect the hangover. Expect the emotional hangover for the food. If you're a foodie like I am, like this person is, I think that she's my daughter. <laughs> she feels like she's my daughter. She thinks so much like me. And so you move on with your day. You make sure that you get enough water, just plain old water. Sodas don't count. Putting junk in water doesn't count have some plain old water, get used to it because you want to live a nice long life and hydrating with plain old water is how, is how I do it, is how other successful people do it. And get on with your day. Don't limit yourself, don't starve yourself, don't play any of those games. You've already done that, right? You've already done the game thing. And where did it get you? It got you into Weight Watchers, it got you here, it got you with all the other tried and failed food plans. So you don't want to do that. I didn't want a Sarah Smackdown. I just wanted to stop killing tomorrow video. So you want to take care of yourself, okay? Be gentle on yourself the day after you blew it, whatever. Um, it's Don't dismiss it because it's very, very important for you to have the emotions surrounding it and to learn from it, you know, what happens and um, what will you do today. So, take care of yourself. Do more than the tracking if you're tracking with Weight Watchers. <clears throat> Go into the kitchen and get your food aligned. Wash your fruit. 
put your um, weighed portions in little jars like I do. I weigh my portion, I put it in a glass jar, I put the lid on it, it's in there. I made a big, great big salad, I put my two tablespoons of olive oil, the bag is in the car, it's 4 a.m. because it's cool enough to put it in the car and the berries will go in after because I don't like to I don't like to refrigerate the berries after I've washed them. So they will go into the second bag that has my um, immersion blender for my second bulletproof coffee. That's what I do to take care of myself. That's how I arm my day, my bulletproof day, because I don't want to kill tomorrow by the choices that I make today. And as some of you know, I had my yogurt, uh, peanut butter, coconut oil, melted chocolate morsels, um, lunch, uh, excuse me, dessert, and I had it um, four days in a row last week. I was doing some stress eating over some, um, not my own personal issues, but personal issues with people in my life, health issues, and, um, and so I had that dessert, which to me is a better bad choice, four nights in a row. And so the detox began yesterday because I will not have it again until um, probably Monday or Tuesday. I'll have it twice this week. And so, you know, I had a little bit of um, missing it. You know, I got used to it because when I have something <laughs> twice, two days in a row, to me it's a habit. Three days in a row, yeah. Four days in a row, it's a given. And so I did that to myself and I had to feel the feelings yesterday when I didn't have it for dessert. Fortunately, I have a half a cup of yogurt with coconut oil and ground flaxseed and cashew butter as um, my breakfast when I work. So <laughs> it's kind of the same. It just doesn't have the chocolate and that works for me. So I have to remind myself that I had it for breakfast when I'm thinking I should have it for dessert with the chocolate. It's what you have to do. You have to work with your head. You have to do your own program, your own way with what is going to work for you. And you don't want to kill tomorrow. So stop killing tomorrow. Today's another day. Maybe there's more holiday things. Think about it before you go. No eating when you're standing up. I mean it. Drink water before you go. Some people say eat an apple before you go with a glass of water. Get that beverage in your hand and just stand and talk. Don't juggle the plate with all the little things and eat and stand. It is calories that you won't even know that you ate and then you're going to sit down and eat your meal. Hopefully it's with lots of veggies, a little protein, a little um, fat to make you feel full, and that's it. And if you've planned a num num after, have your num num. Eat it. Enjoy it. When you get home from your event, have another glass of water, even though you might feel full even though you might feel disgusted with yourself because you made the choice to kill tomorrow. But if you didn't still have that water, keep things moving. And so, stop killing tomorrow. I will see you the next time. This has been Sarah, Weight Watcher, Cape Cod Woman, and Pearls of Wisdom and Food on Facebook. And I mean it. If you friend me on Facebook, on my personal page, and you need to message me about your food, I'm available. Okay? Have a wonderful Sunday. Until the next time, bye-bye for now.